Many have tried. We actually succeeded. This is the Gas Defeating Charging Handle, or GDCH, by Silencer Co. The Gas Defeating Charging Handle is a fantastic new tool that you can use to augment your suppressed uh, AR-15. So, as you can see, it looks like just about every other charging handle on the market. Um, what we've done is we've actually made sure that our handles here are somewhat uh, you know, chamfered for comfort. They're not extremely uh, large, so you don't have to worry about that getting necessarily caught in any of your kit. The real magic is on the back side. Now, what you see here and what we have done here is we've added an O-ring to the bottom portion of the charging handle. Now, all the testing and some of the studies that we've done here in-house have demonstrated through the use of high-speed video and some other techniques that a vast majority of what we would consider blowback when run suppressed is actually being emitted from the bottom portion of the charging handle. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this, uh, this AR-15 here that we uh, built out using our SEO 15 upper receiver and lower receiver. And what I'm talking about here is the gas that's emitted between the charging handle and the top portion of your uh, lower receiver here. So by adding an O-ring that has been uh, placed on the interior of the charging handle here, and that essentially seals that compartment and prevents that gas particulate from uh, actually hitting you in the face and making things uncomfortable when you're running a suppressed platform like that. We're gonna go ahead and show you how to actually install this. So first step is to make sure that you've got your AR-15. You wanna go ahead and clear that for safety purposes. So make sure that your chamber is cleared. There's no round in the chamber. As you can see, that is the case. This weapon is on safe as well. So first step, remove that takedown pin. So pop that takedown pin like so, and then you'll be able to actually lift up that upper receiver and separate it from the lower receiver. Next step is pull the charging handle that's already installed here. You'll be able to slide out your entire bolt carrier group as such. Move the charging handle that's already installed. And before we do anything further, you really wanna make sure that you coat this with a proper coating of, of lubricant. Of course, whatever lubricant you choose to go with, it's, uh, it's up to you at that point. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit of lube there. All right. Let's go ahead and install that. Take your bolt carrier group. Slide that in. As you can see, it's a perfect fit. Pop that takedown pin and go ahead and pull it back. You'll see you've got a perfect install there. Another way to actually verify proper installation and seating of that O-ring is to do what we like to call the dollar bill test. So we'll take a simple dollar bill in this case and we'll go ahead and place that between the charging handle and the back portion of the upper receiver there and you can see that there's no movement there which means there is a proper seal so let's go ahead and remove this particular o-ring as you can see portions of the o-ring are actually protruding into the plunge cut the plunge cut are these two little dimples on either side of the o-ring. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that o-ring itself. If you notice previously, the o-ring itself extended into each one of those plunge cuts. In the event that you find that it is too long, you can actually reduce the overall length of your o-ring. In many cases, you can remove up to 1 16th of an inch of o-ring from the overall length. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to properly seat that without making sure that I stretch it to the extent where it may not actually cause proper sealing anymore. So I'll go ahead and push that into the groove carefully. Now if you notice, the O-ring is now properly seated in the groove and I actually don't have any o-ring material extended into those plunge cuts so it looks like a pretty good overall length of that o-ring I'm gonna go ahead and, and install this back into the carbine bolt carrier group pop that in 
And of course, from a function standpoint, you can manipulate and charge the weapon as necessary. Now that you've ensured that it is properly sealed, let's go ahead and run that dollar bill test one more time. Of course. There's no movement on the dollar bill either. Now, some of you guys may be wondering what the longevity of the O-ring attached to the charging handle may be. Now, me personally, I actually did the initial testing on this charging handle when we were first developing it. And my initial tests, I ran 1,200 individual actuations. Same O-ring, never had to replace the O-ring. I'm now over 2,000 actuations with the exact same O-ring. So we haven't established a break point with individual O-rings in any testing to date. With that being said, we are gonna include another O-ring for your own use should that one emergency happen to you at some point in time. And these O-rings are easily accessible and available anywhere online um, for your own purposes. If you guys are watching this video now, know that the Gas Defeating Charging Handle or GDCH is now available for purchase. You know what the most annoying thing about these videos is having to like and subscribe. So you should like and subscribe this video if you want to see more like this. If not, then I get it. I totally get it because I wouldn't do it either.